One of the things I've been asked about a lot since uh, our first modern nymphing film is my net setup because I talked about it a little bit in there, but I've gotten a lot of specific questions about it, so I'm going to answer those today for you. So my net setup consists of a few things. Number one, a gear keeper net retractor, which you can get in our shop. We have them uh, under the Orvis gear keeper net retractors. This retractor is bomber. I've had this one alone for like eight or 10 years. It's been through I don't know how many com uh, competitions and through thousands of days of fishing and it's still going strong. So really great retractor. One of the nice features about them is they have this clip that you can just <clears throat> attach and reattach your net. So if you're trying to take a photo and you want to let a fish breathe while you're getting the camera ready or something, you can unclip your net, hold the fish under the water, let it chill and it's fine to go. Uh, until you get, until you take the photo. So then you can clip it back in. Now, most nets come with some sort of flimsy attachment to the handle here um, that is bound to break over time. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just the way most of them are. So I have uh, manually put some uh, another rigging on here. I have some paracord that I've just formed a loop around the net handle. And then I've wound Maxima Chameleon 20 pound test, doesn't really matter what material you use there, just some heavy mono around the, the parallel uh, cord so that it forms a loop right here and then just taped over the top. An electrical tape, duct tape, whatever you want would be fine. You could also do something fancier like tennis racket uh, tape or bar tape from a, a bike or something like that. Then I've attached that clip to the paracord. Um, if you can get the paracord straight through the clip, that's great. If not, a really heavy zip tie will work, uh, but sometimes those break, so I, you know, you have to be a little bit careful. All right, so that's my attachment on the handle end. Now, magnets, let's talk about magnets. Most people, if they're gonna use a magnet, they attach it to the top, and then they just put their net on the back like this, like, and their handle is like this, but then you gotta flip the net upside down, rearrange it before you go net the fish. And I've found that when I used to do it that way, I lost a lot of fish before I got them in the net which especially in competitions is not something you want. So I like my, hand, my net to be much handier, much easier to grab. So I have tried all sorts of different positions and for based on your pack, you may want this somewhere else on the hoop, but I have the magnet down here near the base of the hoop. And what that allows me to do is use magnets that are elsewhere on my pack. Now, I use a sling pack because I have a problem with my left shoulder that doesn't let me use a chest pack, but if I were using a chest pack, I'd still do it the same way. Um, I have a magnet that's over here on the strap of the sling pack, and then I have another one that's down here on my hip pack. I used to have one right here under my belt, and I may switch back to that for certain tournaments where I have a lot of small fish, just because then the handle's right here and I can grab it right away. But um, if I'm walking through the brush or I want the net completely out of the way, then I put it back here on my hip pack and I can walk wherever I want through the brush. It doesn't catch nearly as much, but if I weigh deep, that's not as good. Um, so I also have a magnet that's up here that lifts the net up a little bit. And if I'm catching a lot of small fish, all I have to do is set the hook, grab, and I'm good to go. And I have that net handy right away. And you always want to make sure your net bag is the right way so that if you do have that situation, the fish lands in the net bag facing down. That's basically my net setup. Um, gear keeper, several magnets, one on the hoop, and magnets on different parts of my pack so that I can put the net in any position that I want. That really helps me have an accessible net that I can grab right away so that I'm not fumbling back here trying to find where it is before I go to net the fish, which ends up in a lost fish a lot of times. So if you like this tip and you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, click that little bell icon so that you get a notification when we post a new video, which we should be doing a lot more now that Connor's here and I have more time to create content. So go out fish. We're, that's what we're going to do right now. I suggest you do the same. <laughs>